What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We got a Spider-Man one today. We got this Scarlet spider suit. So this is a great one because there's no webs. <laughs> no webs on the suit, thank God. Okay, I'm on the landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We're gonna start with the eyes. That's where I like to start. So if you want, you can put like dots for where the top and the bottom of the head is. Roughly in there. It doesn't have to be, this can change, but you know, if you wanted to mark it in, that's where the size of my head, I'd say it would be. I'm gonna start with his eyes. Just roughly down, a little bit lower than halfway. So if the center point of my head is here, I'll just go down a little bit. And then we'll go straight down. Thick line. So we go straight down and the other side, right? Two lines that just come down like this. And then, a lot of angles, so we'll go down this way first. And then it goes down here, okay? And then we go diagonal up. Like so. Then it kind of spikes in. And then it's gonna come all the way down. to that point, right? Spider-Man's eyes are always tricky to draw. There's a, they're a very particular kind of shape. So you gotta practice them a bit. All right, we do the same thing on the other side, right? So we go down that way, small line, down that way, and then we go up like so. Pointy bit. and then back down. Like so. Okay. And this is a double line. So you've got like this raised uh, red sort of ridge. And you draw that on the inside again. So you kind of just trace these lines again, right? So you just go like in here. Now, and there, and they're quite thin. So we're gonna try and get them as thin as we can. goes up into here somewhere and then back down right kind of like that so and then another you're just kind of trying to get around this as best you can goes up Kind of like that, right? And that's red, like a raised red, red edge. Okay. So then, go down to do his chin, right? So I marked it about here. So you're about, so like the halfway point of the head is just sort of here somewhere. So we just do his chin, just here. Okay. And then we're going to bring this around and up to the top. Okay, so we'll go out for his jaw. First, like this. All right, and then we're gonna bring it all the way around to the top of his head. All right, and we'll roughly try and keep him even. on both sides going up this way and then you got to go sort of around then so i always find the head of spider-man is like kind of like shaped like a balloon you know if you remove his eyes kind of like a balloon a little bit okay and then he has like these stitches or seams that run up to keep the mask sort of together that come from the spikes here. Like so. 
So then, his neck. So it comes down, curves that way on that side, and then comes down this way on this side. Because right? his body's like a little bit turned, right? So then hood. So his body is like a little bit turned. So what, what we, we can see a small sh shoulder and a big shoulder, right? So the center line for his chest is like a little bit moved over. So like the hood starts on the left side of his body, right? And then we go around. Back of his head like that. And then the other side goes around there. And then we have like another furry sort of section, bumpy sort of line there, and something else furry that way. It's like, it looks furry to me. I don't know if it is or not. Going there, a bit of texture if you want it. Maybe neckline, just there. Then the outside layer of the hood, so it comes out. Down like that. Out. Down to there. And then it goes in. And I think this will eventually go around the whole way. Have like a seam here and a seam going that way. So then this shoulder sticks out this way and his blue section comes down, goes around under his armpit there. Okay. And then the other side, we can't see the armpit because it's turned away. So this just goes straight down, bumping down like that. So the center line for the body kind of curves somewhere here. So it goes like down that way. So this shoulder is wider than this one. It's just because the face is facing forward, but the body kind of isn't. And then the shoulder sticks out here. Okay, on this side. And this suit, so it has all the lines on it. So not, that, not as many as normal. So let's see, so we can see, say like tricep here, and then tricep goes down that way, and then bicep inside there. This is like his armpit area, and then there's a line that goes down that way. And it's kind of, it's a double, so it's got ridges so like kind of the stuff that's around his eye that's what this is basically so then this comes around his shoulder another one here and it goes down his chest and then this has a line on the inside and then another one here chest there and then this comes down like so. And this other line here joins that. And then some more inside. So um, maybe like a bicep line or something there. Like so. And then this has a seam run down like so. There. Like so. All right, and then the shoulder. tricep on this side and we can see less of that shoulder and this has lines on it as well
one there in his shoulder there and then it runs down his arm sort of down this way maybe another line on the inside there and again we can't see as much of his bicep here we can see a seam just running down here and then we have that uh, sprayed spider just in here right so it's like diagonal point there and then the body goes down off my page so it's like turned this way it's not in the middle <clears throat> and then the legs so four sets of legs so we go coming out from here up hook it around back hook it in and you don't go all the way because it has to join the next leg up bigger see there and then comes back and then in around and then you bring them to a point there like that and you do that over the other side pretty complicated this actually this up down in back longer leg back down and then screws over and up into there right and then there's bigger legs on the bottom so goes right nearly to his armpit down then the inside down that way that and you do the same on this side up down and then the inside into there and that joins the next leg and then this side like so and then oh yeah and he has these strings that come down um from his hood right so just here and when you go over any lines like this you can just erase what's inside because you should be drawn with a pencil but you can just erase what's in here and then that down there around like so and I think that's everything. Some people like to thicken up the ridge lines, you know, just to add like a thicker line. It's optional. I like to do it sometimes. Makes the character stand out. Line weights, different line weights have different effects. In your drawing, make certain things stand out more than others. And you know, if some of your lines are scratchy, like mine can be sometimes, it sort of helps clean them up. But I think that'll do. That's her draw Spider Man. What was it called again? Scarlet? Crimson? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Scarlet Spider Suit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hope it was helpful. Bye, guys.